Now, the next topic is factor influencing portfolio management. So, portfolio needs to be planned considering the various factors related to the investor's attributes. The significant factors influencing investment portfolio management are discussed here. The first one is time span. In this type of investment is selected by the period for which the investor is willingly to invest the sum. Investment in stock and equity must be long term to yield higher returns. Now second one is age of investor. The age of investor decides the type of investment, risk taking ability and the returns yield. A young investor may be able to take a high risk as well as pool funds in long term investment to earn higher returns and vice versa. Now third one is risk tolerance level. The level of risk which an investor is willingly to take influences the investment portfolio. Investors belonging to the low income group or older may not be ready to invest in high risk assets. So this is all about factors affecting portfolio management. Now the next topic is objective of portfolio management. To understand the need for portfolio management, it's necessary to go through its goals. So here I'm discussing some goals will help you know about the necessity for portfolio management. Now portfolio management aims at capital growth and seeks for the appreciation of the investment value or net present value. Second, it strategize the gradual return on investment to create maximum value. Third, diversification of funds leads to stability and security against market uncertainties. Next is, it provides flexibility to switch among different investment options at any point in time to avail better opportunities. Next, regular evaluation of wealth diversified portfolio optimizes the risk of loss. Next, it helps the investor to make the best possible use of their funds by creating the most appropriate portfolio. Next, with the practice of right asset allocation, diversification and rebalancing the prepared portfolio, the efficiency of the investment portfolio improves significantly. Next topic is portfolio strategy mix. In this topic, most of us understand that a portfolio should contain all types of assets. That is, it should be it should not be concentrated on a specific specific type of asset. It should be diversified. This will not only reduce the risk associated with each type of security, but also increase the overall returns on portfolio. There are various strategy of portfolio construction and investment. Now, first strategy is aggressive portfolio. In this, this kind of portfolio is most suited for people with high risk appetite as it will include mostly stocks. The stocks are sensitive to changes in market indicators such as inflation, sentiment, macroeconomic data which has a potential to change the profit or loss scenario of that company. Thus, under this why high return can be expected due to the company's growth story or new expansions. It might be also susceptibly to setbacks. Managing risk under such a portfolio is of paramount importance so various risk strategy, hedging, shorting, 
cutting losses after a point should be considered so this is all about aggressive portfolio now second one is defensive portfolio in this certain stocks are providing regular dividends and stable earnings irrespective of the state of the market these are companies which have a steady flow of revenues and profits and believe in rewarding their shareholders their companies of product which are staple in nature and their sale in is mostly stable throughout the year their nature is to appreciate in share price less than normal market when the company is expanding such stocks provide stability to the portfolio now the next strategy is that is third one hybrid portfolio in this strategy this is actually the most commonly used type of portfolio it entails have a healthy mix of assets like equity bonds etfs bullion and others each asset has a certain percentage in a proportion that the returns are maximized the portfolio is checked and readjusted according to the changes in the underlying factors of the assets the idea is to have a healthy mix of assets so that there is no exposure to the specific type of marketing cycle or issues due to market economic cycles the downside one asset will be compensated positively by another asset and this creates a balance and safety of capital now the next is passive or active portfolio the other types of portfolios are by the style of management of the portfolios so in active and passive are the two styles okay the most important aspect before creating a portfolio is to also look at the cost of acquiring and selling the assets the assets sometimes can be more expensive in transaction costs while not giving much return for example sometimes real assets thus again risk appetite is a good benchmark